So I can do um, the sound of some train diesel engines. <laughs> Sounds like you need to go to the maintenance shed. <laughs> oh. oh, I think I'm stuck. Hello? The door. I can't get out of the fridge. Hi, I'm Amelia and welcome to Amelia's Cooking Show, brought to you by Cholula Hot Sauce. We knew that this was happening. I don't know why someone would put the chair in front of the fridge, like I always get out of the fridge, is the thing. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the cooking show where myself and a guest attempt to cook a delicious meal in front of a live studio audience. Maybe if you all worked together, you could lift a chair. As always, we'll be using five very special key ingredients. The twist, I can't cook. Aww. Today's guest is train spotting enthusiast, TikTok icon, and man of mystery, Francis Bourgeois. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hi. How's it going? How are you? I'm good. Uh, I had an hour and a half taxi ride here. You didn't come on a train? <laughs> no. Mm. I love these badges. This one is a uh, class 455, um, and the sister unit to the class 455, the 456 is actually um, being withdrawn from service completely on Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to be doing what's called bashing, where you basically ride the train um, and experience it uh, for the whole day. Yeah, it's called bashing. OK, cool. Well, I'm loving the outfit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because this is essentially workwear, it has like rapid detachment features. So say if you get snagged on a train, if, for example, you hold there. Yeah. And then, and then I'll get caught here as well, and then it comes off. Wow. Hey. So that, that could be attached. OK, let's, let's put the jacket on now, because we actually have to get... To, we have to, like, start getting serious now. Can I borrow your hat? OK. I just got my hair cut yesterday. It looks really good. Thanks. <laughs> Anything from the trolley, dear? <laughs> um, you got any uh, tea? Uh, we do. But you can't have that because it's time for the ingredients. Ingredient number one. Cheddar cheese. Oh, you can put that back now. Cheddar cheese because you are from Somerset where cheddar cheese is also from? Yeah, well, I'm actually originally from northwest London. Okay, so at one point you lived in Somerset, true? Yeah. Great. Well, that's why we've got cheddar cheese. Do you like any cheesy, cheesy music? I like ABBA. Do you like cheesy music? I like a bit, bit of uh, George Michael. My mum says I look like George Michael. Okay, yeah. I kind of could... Club Tropicana drinks, drinks are free. free. Anyway, cheesy, che do you like uh, che cheese? Do you like cheese? Yeah, I love cheese. Can you do your best cheesy grin? Just to the... No. Now, are you ready for ingredient number two? Shortbread biscuits. This is a classic train trolley purchase. Correct? Yeah. Well, sometimes when they, they'll, they'll just give you a, a, short, a miniature shortbread with a cup of tea if you ask for it. What, for free? Some, that's what I've experienced before. OK, but you probably get a free shortbread because you're like a train, train celebrity. How have things changed for you since, you know, your TikTok's taken off? Do you get recognised by other train enthusiasts? Yeah, up until a couple of weeks ago, it was um, usually quite amicable kind of uh, interactions. And I was filming and a cameraman had his tripod over the yellow line and one of the more kind of traditional um, purists got into an altercation with the man with the tripod. And I said, hey, hey, it's OK, Just, hey, stop. Um, and, and he said, who the hell are you anyway? 
And I said, I'm a train spotter just like you. And he said, no, you're not. You're a TikTok twat. And then and I, felt, I felt like I'd just taken a 50 caliber bullet into my chest. You've been hit by a train. But there's always going to be some people that think, oh, it wasn't like that in my day. Yeah. And the third ingredient is marshmallows and spaghetti. Because you study engineering at university and this is a very famous piece of engineering to put marshmallows and spaghetti together to make a structure. Well, this is... Do you specifically study train engineering? Uh, mechanical engineering. I'd, I'd, I really want to go into, into infrastructure engineering. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'd like to contribute my passion to the railway to make it sort of a, a better place. I mean, you've got my vote, that's for sure. Viva la train revolution. Do you like university? Yeah. Luckily, where I was in Nottingham, it was a great location for train spotting. In my final year, it was actually what, the year when they were withdrawing their Class 43 fleet. Were you bashing the train then? Yeah, I was, I was bashing with quite a lot of train enthusiasts, actually. They go to the station in the sky. So now it's time for ingredient number four. Tomatoes, because you grow your own tomatoes on your windowsill at home. But sadly, they always die. Yeah, no matter how hard you try, you just can't get them to survive. And actually, you've spent hours and hours and hours, you've lost friends over it. You know, you never go out anymore because you're just trying and trying and trying to get these tomatoes to just grow and just become tomatoes, but they just never do, and they're just constantly dying and... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't grow tomatoes. It sounds like, it, it sounds quite a personal thing. Are you sure that's not you vent venting your tomato experience? Um, no. You stupid tomatoes. That's all my ingredients. Now it's time for your ingredient. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Ta da! What's that? Uh, it's fennel salami. When I was younger, uh, my, my parents used to make a packed lunch and um, just salami and mayonnaise, and I just loved it on the first day. So I'd take the circles and I'd fold it, and then I'd fold it again, and I'd nibble into the different corners, and then I'd sort of unravel a, a salami origami. What I was hoping to do is for it to be a circle and then me to give you a salami yeah. origami. Yeah, so um, why didn't we get the circle salami? <laughs> what is this? So that's all the key ingredients. Now it's time to decide what to make. So, after much deliberation, we have decided to make crispy salami pasta with marshmallow shortbread on the side. Full steam ahead. It's cool. I can do all different types. All different kinds of whistles. All right, go on. Is that a train whistle? That's just a bird. That's a robin. Oh, right, sorry. And then I can do um, the sound of some train diesel engines. Yep. So this is a class 37. <coughs> and this, this is par it powering up. <laughs> that's awful, sorry. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> so this, Francis, is the first time we've ever cooked a two-course meal. Really? And I think we are more than ready based on the success of every single other meal I've ever made on this show. So full steam ahead, everybody. Or top-notch, if you're talking diesel engines. OK. <laughs> Hi. We're back. Yeah. Nice GoPro. Thanks. Can you see okay? Uh, not really, but um, that's fine, because all we're doing is cooking, so it's not like I need my eyesight. Step one, we need to make the uh, shortbread, marshmallow shortbread. Okay. So we need to melt some marshmallows. Do you mind putting the kettle on? Sure. Thanks. And then we need, oh, the marshmallows. <laughs> this is, this is... is really quite annoying. In what sense? The In the it sense feels? that it's on my head. I'm stressed. It's all right. Would you say you're quite a relaxed person? 
Yeah, I, 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 I exercise mindfulness when I can and I feel like that helps me deal with stressful situations sometimes. Okay, <clears throat> maybe I should try that. Yeah, just uh, think of somewhere where you're almost relaxed and just imagine you're walking there and just take deep breaths in and out. Like six seconds Right, I don't in. have time for this, we'll do that. Um, okay, so let's get that, pull that water in. Uh, can you find some of the spaghetti, please? I think yeah. it's underneath the... <clears throat> oh, it's here. there. By, by the way, Francis, how did you get into train spotting? Um, well, where I lived in uh, northwest London, a place called Wilson Junction, um, and going by Wilson Traction Ma Maintenance Depot was actually such a treat most days because there'd always be something different. And I guess that ignited my kind of passion for train spotting itself. I love that. That's so sweet. So it's from very early age then? Yeah, li literally from, I'd say, two or three. Oh, Francis, we need to put these in a bowl over the water, like with chocolate. <laughs> Why did you tell me to do that? Well, I just thought, sort of like campfire vibe. No, that was never going to work. You said you do engineering. But is it going to be like a marshmallow broth? Yes, exactly. OK, now, give me one. <laughs> you know what, I actually can't take this anymore. I'm sorry, but... You've got the classic uh, GoPro mark on your forehead. Sorry. What? Are you kidding? What? Sorry. I'm just going to put these in the fridge. It's time for a quick ad break. Wait, Amelia, we have some Cholula hot sauce for you to try with that. But I'm hungry. It's literally arriving right now. Okay, but I'm starving, so I'm going to just eat this. It's going to be 30 seconds. Well, I don't want to wait. Just wait 30 seconds, please. 30 seconds? Yes. Okay, you've got 30 seconds. And then I'm eating it. Mmm, delicious. You know I had one here like the whole time. That was kind of extra of you guys to do that. Mm. And sign up to the Hot Sauce Club. The Hot Sauce Club website is the official place to buy Cholula hot sauce. So now we... Sorry, I've just lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> now we need to boil the spaghetti. Glad to see the kettle's on a sturdy platform. <laughs> I feel like you know so much about trains, but have people been, like, doubting your authenticity? Yeah, well, um, that's, that's something that I, uh, I'd, I, I've, I've, I've addressed recently. The thing is, for me, I have a strong passion for trains, and I have a strong passion for making people laugh and making people happy and smile. And I'm tying two of those things into my video. Train spotting itself, the experience I feel, for example, when I hear Class 37. Imagine people are at a football stadium and they're like, he's going for the goal, he's going for the goal, yes! <laughs> and every, everyone, everyone is doing the same thing. And everyone is shouting and everyone's feeling so euphoric. But imagine, imagine if everyone out of the stadium was gone and someone is there by themselves going, yes! People are going to be like, what's that guy doing? And for me, that's what it's like, but my stimulus is the sound of the train, it's the way the train is, it's the way it looks, and it's the build-up. For me, it is complete euphoria, and I do just go, oh. <laughs> For anyone who, you know, sort of thinks, oh, this guy's having everyone on, or he's taking the piss, I, I say to them, come train spotting with me. I might get into it. Do it. Now we need to put the uh, pasta on, so we need to get some more water. And I'll just slowly start to push it in. Francis, I know how to cook pasta. I'm not an idiot. OK, now we need to uh, go on to step four, which is to fry the salami and the tomatoes. <laughs> Want to take some salami? Yep. 
and then I guess we just fry that. Yep. I just put the tomatoes in the pan. Yeah, yeah, just whack, just whack just them Just did in. that. Do you, do you think you could put that away? Because we're done with that, and you know, I think we always need to cover our tracks. Yeah. <laughs> cover our tracks. What's next for you? How are you bringing your train enthusiasm into the future? I want to sort of make some train clothing, you know, create, you know, stuff like this. Also, I want to make a nightclub on a train. Yeah. I love being a bit love being around people and I love listening to music, especially especially electro, electronic music. The sounds are so similar to sort of the sound of the railway. You've got the the sound of the engine, which is so similar to sort of the bass lines and the you know. And then you've got the sort of the sound of the tracks that's very repetitive, very similar to the percussion. And then you've got the announcements in the stations which kind of sometimes similar to samples in the tracks. I love that. I can see that. I, I love to listen to music before I cook. Get me in the mood. I'm into rap, rap music. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. What, who's your, fa your favourite artist? At the moment, I'm, I love Central Sea. Oh. Um... Day in the life. Let's see, see how you really, really rap. rap. Turn off the auto tune. Let's see how you really rap. Ta da! Fantastic. Okay, that's that. Do you want to mix it in? Yeah. I'm going to get some garnishes now. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Green. Parsley. Pars okay, parsley. Now it's time to plate up. <laughs> Do it nicely. Right, there you go. Uh, next one. Cheese. Should wow. do the hot sauce. How hot is it? It's hot enough. So now it's time to taste the meal. That's lovely. It's quite good, actually. But the fennel pairs well with the hot sauce. Mmm, it does. And the tomato juices. What about marshmallow and shortbread? Oh, my goodness. Dessert, anyone? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. I'm really happy with it. Well, I can bring these when we go train spotting. Now we've uh, arrived at our final destination, which is the end of the show. Aww. Thank you for inviting me along, Amelia. It's been, been fun cooking. Please, Francis, remember to take all your personal belongings with you as you leave. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. Sort it. See it, say it, sort, sort it. it. Do you want a sandwich? Yeah. Thank you. My mum and dad are into train spotting and they said that this was like really? a classic British rail sandwich. Mm. Like the orange. Thanks. This is um, what I have to wear um, if I'm out on a, a tour of a, a depot or a yard. I need to be in sort of safe PPE gear. Yeah, so I can literally... Sorry, there's a hard hat. <laughs>